Hey, Nicole here with Own Your Mom & Co. I'm here with an Instagram tip for you today. Have you seen those carousels on Instagram where you swipe through and it's almost like one seamless image? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in Canva today. It does require a little bit of math and a little bit of pre-prepared knowledge of the kind of content you want to be showing so that you can map out exactly how many slides you'll need for your carousel post. Have an idea of the number of squares, Instagram squares that you're gonna to wanna to incorporate in your carousel because we're going to use that in our math in this beginning process. So let's just jump into Canva and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to go into Canva and we are going to hit the create a design button. All right, so once we've hit the create a design button, we're actually gonna create a custom size. And this is where our math is gonna come into play. A typical Instagram post is going to be 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. We're going to multiply 1080 by the amount of slides that we're gonna use. So if we have three slides, five slides, that's how many we're gonna multiply that. So let me just show you. So let's say we wanna do three slides. So we're going to do some math, uh, 1080 multiplied by three. And if you're anything like me, you had to pull up your calculator really quick. So um, our width is going to be what that 1080 multiplied by three is, which is 3240. And then our height is gonna be 1080. That's not gonna change. So let's create this new design. And you're going to see it's nice and wide. And then what the most important thing to do now is to make sure you have these grid lines. And then we're going to um, separate this into our three squares with our grid marker so that we know exactly where our design ends in each square. So let's go to 1080. Oops, 1081. We want to be right at 1080. And sometimes if you can't get it right on the nose, you're just gonna have to zoom in a little bit. There we go, there's one. And then let's zoom back out so we can get another grid marker. And then it's gonna be 1080 more than that. And we wanna be at 2160 for that number. Oh, zoom in, 2160. So now we know exactly, we have three perfectly even separated slides. So here we can use our elements, uh, we can get creative, we can put whatever kind of designs that we want within each image. And um, let's just create something really fast. This is an amazing photo. And so the cool thing about these is wherever you see your grid markers is where it's going to cut. And so make sure that you your image makes sense if we're going to put like this image here, let's say, and then maybe this image here. We're just kind of just being silly and fun, okay? Um, love this. A fun little design. Has nothing to do with photo booths, but I'm just showing you guys, for example, what this can look like. All right, so let's just say that we have our design completed and now we want to download it. So we're going to download as a PNG. Okay, we're gonna go to a website called Social Boutique. Uh, MySocialBoutique.co, um, I will put that in the description. And what it's going to do up here at the top, you're gonna see Grid Maker. Click on that. You're gonna upload your image. And then it's gonna tell you how, where you wanna cut it or how many um, columns you would like. And it's already kind of recognized that we have three here. So we're gonna just confirm that and, and do split image. All right, it's split our image into three, as you can see. And so we're gonna download each image, one, two, three. And then we can go into Instagram and we can post. So you're gonna upload them in the order that you want them. So one, and then just confirm it through each slide that it is in the position that you want it and it kind of makes sense. So as you can see, it's really beautiful and seamless. And there you have it. And we have our beautiful carousel. Um, so the most important thing for this is just going to be making sure that you use these grid markers. These grid markers are gonna be the biggest help for you in determining 
where your content is. So especially if you have words involved in your posts, that you have them within these markers. That way you're not guessing and you can have a perfectly seamless transitional photo. There you have it. I hope that's been helpful. And I can't wait to see how you use that and be creative in your Instagram content. We'll see you soon.